Final leg, back again to talk about the women's triple jump at the Zurich Diamond League. Now, I already spoke about the sprints and the hurdles, um, some of those top events that happened at Zurich in the Diamond League final, but I wanna talk about this women's triple jump, which turned out to be one of the top events. Triple jump is one of my favorite events, so I really wanna highlight what happened here. So of course, Yulamar Rojas was going for something big. We know she's already gonna win the competition. She was just going for something big. Like I noted, she's been fouling a lot this year because I think she's just trying to hit a big mark going for the world record. This competition, she did the same thing. She hit a lot of fouls, but round two, 1528, she basically shut the competition down super early, ended it. No one has even come close to 1528. Look at the other personal best, right? Uh, Beck Romanchuk, 1502, right? Um, you know, you have uh, Ricketts, 1494, right? All these other women are not even close. So 1528 shut down the competition. But let's look at the rest of the field as they kind of progress through the um, competition. Of course, we had Thea Lafond. She hit 14.56 meters in round two. That put her into second place. That's significant because that equaled her season's best and her personal best, Thea Lafond's personal best is 16, is 14.62 meters. So she's been getting a little bit close. She's, you know, teetering on the 14.6, 14.5, right? She's been teetering in that range for a while. So for her to jump 14.56 meters here is a huge performance. Also in that same round, Mar uh, Marina beck Romanchuk she managed to jump 14.53 meters. So she's also been one who's progressing really well this year, won European Championships in 1502. Definitely looking out to see what she was able to do in this competition. Round three, things really heated up. Tori Franklin. Tori Franklin, bronze medalist at the World Championships, first ever for the United States, 14.73 meters. Why is this significant? When she jumped this mark and she got the perfect 2.0 meter per second win, this was her third farthest jump of her entire career. She had previously jumped um, a couple jumps of uh, 1486 and 1484 prior to this jump. Both of these, uh, one of them was in 2018, that's when she set the American record. Um, and then of course, Monaco this year, she jumped 1486. When she jumped 1473 here, this was her second farthest jump ever. That brought her into second place in the competition. Well, guess what? Round four was wild. We're talking about Shanika Ricketts goes first, 14.85 meter jump. That was an amazing performance for her. Her personal best is 14.98 meters. This year, she's jumped 14.94. She is going for that 15 meter barrier. She really wants to uh, break that 15 meter barrier. 14.85 is a step in that right direction. Marina beck Romanchuk. she immediately responded 14.96 meters. This was her second farthest jump of her entire career. Again, beck Romanchuk. she just started jumping in the triple jump and she jumped 15.02 meters to win European Championships. Now, I have to note Tori Franklin. In this round, though she fouled, she had a foul that was probably in the 14.8 meter range. I, you know, obviously they didn't measure, measure it, so I really don't know, but this was a huge foul for her. She was really hitting on all cylinders. Now, um, like I've noted, Yulamar Rojas, she was just fouling all throughout. You could see some of these jumps that she was just a little bit over the board, sometimes a lot over the board, but she was hitting 15 meters like it was nothing, but she was clearly going for something big. Round five, not too many fireworks. Do got to highlight Tori Franklin again, 14.68 meters. Again, just to put her in context, look at her entire career, 1486, 1484, 1475, which we'll get to here, 72, 59. So for her to jump 14.68 meters is a huge, huge jump for her and what she's been able to do through her career. Now, finally, round six, what I loved about the Zurich Diamond League here if you remember in the Diamond Leagues, they've changed it over the past couple years. Recently, they changed it where in that sixth round, only the top three competitors who have the top three highest uh, farthest marks, they get to get jumps. In the Diamond League final, they allowed everyone to jump, only six competitors. Patricia Momona, again, she's the Olympic silver medalist. She's been struggling a little bit this year, but it's great to see her you know, get um, up to you know a best of 14.24 meters in this final round. Tori Franklin, again, 14.75 meters. So remember I said that 14.73 was her third best performance ever? 14.75, improved upon that third best performance ever. Amazing jump for her. Now, Shanika Ricketts, 14.45, unfortunately couldn't improve upon her 14.85. Um, and then of course, Beck Romanchuk, she just decided to completely skip. Yulimar Rojas, she was trying just not to foul. She wanted to get something high, but unfortunately couldn't do it. 14.99, and what's crazy is that's a disappointing jump. 14.99 is a disappointing jump for Yulimar Rojas, and that 
was higher than that was farther than anyone else in the competition this was an absolutely amazing competition just to put a couple things in context first off yulomar rojas she has jumped 15.28 meters let's just look at where yulomar rojas stands in terms of all time marks i'm just going to look up rojas um you know right here on the all-time list of course world record outdoor world record 15.67 meters 15.52 right 1548 1540 like she owns the top seven jumps uh, i'm sorry the top two jumps in history and then six of the top seven jumps in history only anessa kravitz from back in uh, i think this was 1995 yeah gottenberg world championships in 1995 she jumped 15.50 meters the previous uh world record rojas has torn up the top all-time marks and jumps 15 meters on command also i have to note two other things her indoor marks guess what indoors she obviously has the world record which is the overall world record 15.74 meters and look at the rest of the jumps 1543 1541 crazy performances there in addition her ancillary marks ancillary marks are just the jumps that are en route to final marks right so for example here she jumped 1499 but her highest or farthest jump was 1528 1499 is her ancillary jump guess what she also has torn this apart right 1542 1541 50 like she has torn the all-time marks apart she is clearly the greatest triple jumper in the history of the entire event Cra crazy crazy i'm really looking forward to see if she's able to get to that 16 meter mark she still has some years to go so we'll see what she's able to do also have to note marina beck romanchuk now beck romanchuk only started jumping in the triple jump this year she really only started in 2022 if you take a look back at her progression in the women's triple jump, you could see that Beck Romanchuk, she jumped in 2013. She actually only jumped once. We can actually take a look back at her 2013 season and we'll see that she was doing the long jump. The triple jump, she only jumped one competition. And that was back in 2013. How old, she's what? She's 27 now. So nine years ago, we're talking about nine years ago when she was 18 years old. Like, come on, this was absolutely insane. Just started in 2022. And guess what? Throughout 2022, she's been killing it in the triple jump. 1473, 14, um, you know, 54. She, she's been super consistent. 1502 to break that 15 meter barrier. Really, really strong performances for her. And we're going to see a lot more from her as the years go on. Also, I have to note Shanika Ricketts. Now, Ricketts has been on, you know, one of the top athletes over the past couple years. 2019 World Championship Silver Medalist. 2022, or I'm sorry, 2022 World Championship Silver Medalist. Look at the performances that she's had in terms of her top 10. 1498, 1494, 1493. 14, she's been on that 149 for so long. She's trying to get into that 15 meter barrier. I think she's going to get it next year, coming back at the World Championship year um, in next in 2023 but that 1485 is a huge performance for her right that's her seventh best performance you know in the history of her entire career so for her to jump that here she's still remaining very very consistent Thea Lafon like I noted with Thea Lafon um you know she, her personal best is 14.62 meters which she jumped uh just earlier this year indoors actually um but if we look at her top 10 all-time performances 1462, 1460, 1457, and then of course here in uh, Zurich, and then also at the World Championships where she got fifth place, 1456. She's on the cusp of something really big. Also, take a look at one of her jumps from the World Championships. She had a huge, huge foul. It was very slightly over the board, but huge foul that got out to like 15 meters. She is one that's coming, and she's 28 years old. She saw some years to go. A lot, a lot more coming from her. Finally. Tori Franklin. Tori Franklin has been super consistent. Like I noted, 2018, she jumped 14.84 meters. That was the American record. Of course, Katora Orji has since broken that, jumped 14.9 uh, meters since then. But Franklin, again, got the bronze medal at the World Championships, jumping 14.72 meters, which at the time was her third farthest jump. Uh, that was her second farthest jump in history. Then she improved at Monaco, 14.86 meters. Then of course here in Zurich, she got 14.73 and then 14.75. Tori Franklin is going to have a really strong 2023. She just changed coaches this year, so definitely look out for her. Again, just wanted to highlight this uh, women's triple jump at the Zurich Diamond League final. This is one of my favorite events and I love seeing the women's triple jump really just push each other to some great boundaries. Look out for Yulomar Rojas to potentially get over that 16 meter barrier in the next few years. Well, I'm definitely gonna see what she's able to do. Go in the comments below. Let me know what you thought of the women's triple jump. Let me know if you think any of these ladies are gonna get farther into the 15 meter barrier. Let me know if you think Yulomar Rojas will be able to jump 16 meters. All right, let me know what you think. 
Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.